What are you doing? Babe, you know I love you so much, right? You know I love you like big time. Mm. Mm. Okay, lovely boy. So tell me, what do you want me to do for you? Because I know you want me to do wait, something for you. What makes you think I want anything? Can't I just confess my love in peace? Mm. Mm. I'm waiting. I know you will tell me sooner than later. Mm. It's not because you mentioned it's just that <laughs> I'm having small, small pain in my back. So it would be nice if you can just press, press it for me. You know those are your sweet sessions. <laughs> okay, tell me. So what kind of myself would you like? Deep? Light. Listen, deep, light, I don't care. My body is yours to do as you please. I just have one request. Eh? Okay. Just be careful with your nails. I don't want any, <laughs> any, I don't want any worry marks on my back. Oh my god, really? You know what? Don't worry. Present your back to me. Say no more. Oh, yeah. The back is yours. <laughs> Are you ready? I was born ready. <laughs> okay. Fire away. All right. Hey, please take it. This is my first time. <laughs> okay. Mm, that actually feels so good. Are you serious right now? Mm. Really? Are you enjoying it? Go down small. Mm. Oh. <laughs> hey, dear, dear, that is sports. <laughs> yeah. You can feel like it's got like lots of stuff, right? Right. It's a sense. What? They're stressing me. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just trap my language? I mean, you could try. No! <laughs> <laughs> Hey. <laughs> What's for dinner? Me. No, no, no. Wait, wait. <laughs> say, say that again. Me. You. Mm -hmm. Wow. I never get tired of having you. Javier, Modino. Toby! Modino! Ah, no, come here, come here! Oh my goodness! Oh my god, Toby, how Martino. are you? How have you been? I'm fine. Look at how beautiful you are. Come oh on. my god! Wow, 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 wow. I'm very happy to see you right now. Wow. Oh my god. No, you're going to tell it's me the secret. It's been such a long time. You will tell me the secret of oh, this. Let me hug you. Come on. <laughs> Wow! Hey, hold on. Hold on. Madino, are you fine? Please open the door. I can explain, please. Nathan, please, babe, please open the door. Please, I 
can explain, please. Nathan. What are you doing here? Nathan. Nathan, please, I can explain. Look, I am not interested in any explanation you have to give. Nathan, please just give me a few minutes, okay, to explain. Look, it I, is not what you look, think. I don't want to hear it. I don't. Why don't you just leave? Not when I am carrying your child. Wow. Nice try. Look, you must be dreaming if you think I'm going to fall for whatever lies you came here to tell. You must be dreaming. You're out of your mind. So better take whatever it is that is in there to the men that you have been sleeping with because I'm not responsible for that. Did you hear me? Better leave and never come back. Nathan. 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 What are you doing here? How did you even get into this compound? Nathan, why are you doing this, Nathan? Wait, did you just say why? Did you just ask me why after what I saw? Nathan, what you saw was not what it was, okay? Tommy is just an old school mate of mine. We're just exchanging pleasantries and nothing more. You know what? Go tell that to a child. Whatever lies you came here to tell, I'm not buying it. I need you to leave. Nathan, please. Nathan, I'm pregnant. You can't be doing this to me, please. Look, I suggest you take that pregnancy to your men because I'm not responsible for whatever it is that is in there. Do you hear me? Nathan. Look, I suggest you leave. All right? And don't show your face here again. The next time you come here, I will not be this calm. I will not be this calm next time you show up here. Nathan, what is going on? Nathan! Nathan, Nathan, listen to me. Nathan, listen, I'm not... Nathan, please!
feeding you over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glow <laughs> <laughs> I'm not changing. <laughs> oh gosh. Dina, I'm so glad I flew in as soon as I could. I can't miss a chance to, you know, be a part of my baby's life. I want him to know me by my name. Aww. Auntie Nora. Not only mommy. You should know Auntie Nora too. Nora. Thank you so much for coming. Like, I don't know what I would have done without you. Thank Nothing. you. Nothing. And the air you breathe. <laughs> Now go and get me something to eat, well, girl. You better go to the kitchen. I'm tired. You go there, get everything you need. Everything is right there. Can you first. imagine the disrespect? Let me take this. Why are you like this? You what? never take me serious. You're so lazy. I'm coming. <laughs> At least get me water. Get I me will. Some water. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go get some water. I'm going to get some water. I'm so happy you're here. Hurry! Ah! I have Jesus. You're sleepy? No. So tell me, what's the plan? To be honest with you, I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll just continue working until my stomach is visible enough to stop me. But you're going to be fine though. Well, with you by my side, I'm sure I will be. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> um, do you want me to move in with you guys? Do you want to? No, well, not for you. But for my god, baby, I could do anything. Oh. So will you be our daddy? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> gross. <sighs> I'm honestly, bro. This is all so scary. We're going to be fine. D daddy, daddy, do you <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> you're so crazy, Nora. You're so silly. What will I do without you, though? Nothing. <laughs> Are you ready? Hmm? Right, it's time for us to go. Okay, Micah, grab your bags. Let's go. All right. Please help me. Yeah, I'll Just call me when you're out, okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, baby. I'll grab it for you, don't worry. Okay, you got it. All right, take care. Bye, baby. All right, thank you so much. Let's go, let's go. We're running late. Come on, let's go. Ah. Oh, 
you so much. Yes, thank you, ma. <laughs> See, asleep. Finally. Oh, girl, now we can have some peace in this house. <laughs> I know, right? That boy plays so much. Yeah. I'm sure he must be very tired. I know, right? What are you doing? Um, I'm trying to arrange some orders for tomorrow. People place oh. orders. I'm just trying to make sure that I pick them up by tomorrow morning and deliver. Okay. Girl, I'm just so tired. Like, my boss is traveling for a seminar tomorrow and everyone in the office is on hot seat. Mm. Yeah. Sorry. My dear, thanks. I'm so tired. I'm telling you, I just I cannot wait to leave that place. Oh, no. Baby, you have to chill on that one. Oh. Getting a job these days, like, it's not easy. Tell me about it. I know, right? Oh, don't self. Let's just go and sleep. You look too tired. Yeah. Before you fall asleep on this couch. Oh, oh Jesus. Should I come? Your room or mine? <laughs> My room. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. Are you mad? Why does he do? Are you mad? I may get out. This idiot just ruined my life. What happened? Why is your face like that? You know one stupid useless guy I met by the gate. Let me guess. He tried to talk to you and you snubbed him. Dina, when are you going to stop shutting men out of your life? As long as I am alive, Nora. Don't say that. It's been years. When are you going to give someone a chance? Nora, please. Please just stop, okay? I don't want any man coming into my life to mess it up. Not everyone is going to be like... Nora, stop! Fine. So the bird said he was cunning and ungrateful, hence they wouldn't allow him to go with them. Tortoise had a sweet tongue and within a short time, all the birds agreed and each gave him a feather with which he made two wings. Mommy, is mm -hmm. Auntie Nora not coming? No, Auntie Nora is at work. Do you want us to call her? No, we say we should not disturb her when at work or at sleep. That is amazing. Very smart. You know what? Read this part for me. On the day of the feast, all the birds and tortoises went together. He advised them to take. People stop now. He looks so tired. I was work. Girl, I have to resign from that place. In fact, I am going to resign. Otherwise, I'm going to collapse from running around that office. Well, you said they were bringing somebody to assist you now. My darling, it's not forthcoming. I keep going around doing the job of two people instead of one, and I don't get paid for it. I'm done. Uh -uh. Okay, it's fine. But I think you should just stay at your job. Just continue doing it while you submit your CV in other places. Who knows? Something bigger may come up, but... Babe, leaving your job when you don't have another plan, I don't think it's a good idea. Hmm? You're right, you have a point. Gerald. No, I'm tired. Babe, you know, ah, wait, do. Something is burning. <gasps> ah! See me over! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. Okay, I yeah, I can see all the information. So when did you say the interview is? 
Okay, so Friday, 9 a.m. All right, thank you very much. Okay, on to the next one. Let me try this one. Hi. Yes. Um, yes, my name is Modina and I just wanted to inquire about any job vacancies. Okay. Okay, I can apply on the website. Okay. And everything is going to... Okay, I'll just follow up from there. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, Jim. I found the vacancy. Okay. But. But. What? The location is too far from here. Because mm. the salary they are suggesting is way below what they are paying you right now. <laughs> Which means at this rate, I'm just going to kill myself at that company. Girl, I've submitted my CV in over 10 different places, but I have not received any callbacks. I told you. Seeking for a new job is not easy at all. That's why I suggested I should just remain at your new job until you get something else. Peeps, for how long? Listen, this whole thing is so tiring, especially with the pickup time for Micah from his school. Yeah. I don't even know how I'm going to cope with all of that. Like, it's just getting super frustrating. I'm just exhausted. I know, right? I just wish I could even employ you. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's talking. CEO of No Shopping Services. Yeah. Okay, girl. Now that you've mentioned that part, you know, let me, let's see, let's see what we can do for you. Let me just see your mouth. <laughs> oh my I'm God. Let me do something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. But for real, you don't need to worry. Hmm? We're definitely going to find you a job. Hello? Yes, this is Modina. Oh my god! Yes, I will! I will! Thank you so much! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, thank god! Oh my goodness! Finally! Girl, listen, I am almost ready, okay? I just want to look my best because mm -hmm. this is the first interview I am getting after so many submissions, okay? And Micah? I've dropped him already. <sighs> Thank you so much. Girl, Thank you me. seem really excited about this job, oh? Of course I am. Listen, girl, I did my research on this company mm -hmm. and it's one of the top companies in the country. Plus, their pay is very good. It's too. okay, it's okay. I don't go on, go on. Let me ready, let me ready. Let me ready, hurry. Dina! I'm coming! Okay, so your CV is quite impressive. 
And I hope you do a better job working with us. I'll do my very best, sir. I hope so. So you uh, you asked for me? Yes. So this is Miss Modino. She'll be working directly under you and she's in your contact. Mr. Nathan? Yeah, yes, sir. Um, uh, I, I hear you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this way, please. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. What are you doing here? Did I not warn you to never show your face anywhere near me? I'm here to work and not to see your stupid face. <laughs> swear. Swear to me that you do not know that I worked here. And why will I waste my precious swear on someone like you? Decline the job. What? Decline what? Look, if you do not want to regret coming here today, you better turn down this job now. You're crazy. Go! Oh, you think this is crazy? Wait till you see the craziness that I will unleash on you if you do not leave this place. Just, just wait and see. If you show up for work tomorrow, just, just, just wait and see. Why do I have to meet you here of all places? God. Jesus. Finally. Here we go. Today has been real low. See the traffic I've been in like for three hours. Dina. Dina? Dina! Dina! Oh, oh my goodness. You're back. When did you get here? What's up with you? Where have you been? Your body, soul, and mind is out of this world. What's up? What have you been thinking about? Nora. Hmm? I think I am unfortunate. God forbid. The last time I remember you were dancing to go for an interview. So what happened? I got the job. <gasps> oh my God, Dina! I'm so happy for you. So why are you not happy? Why are you not smiling? Why are you like this? Guess who my boss is? One of your secret admirers. See, I've been telling you to calm down. It's Nathan. Hey, what? No. Nathan? How? How is that how is that possible, Nathan? From where? Same thing I kept asking myself. How unfortunate can things be? Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. That one is out of the blue, Nathan. Wait, wait, but wait. Did you guys fight? Did you guys have an argument? Like who, no, who went to I'm not taking the job. What do you mean you're not taking the job, Dina? Do you know how long it took you to get this job? It is not about the job. I just can't work in the same space with him. I just can't. Of course it's about the job. You need this job. So after all this stress you've been through, you're just going to throw it through the door because of some loser? Who would you have me do, Nora? Like, he even asked me to quit. Like, like, I can't be in the same space with him. I can't. Who is he to ask you to quit? Why would he ask you to quit? And you too, you're willing to quit because he asked you to quit. Who the hell is Nathan? Tina, you need this job. You need this job more than any other person. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. No, you know what to think. And you're going to think about your son. You need this job to take care of yourself and to take care of Micah. And that is exactly what you're going to do. You go back there, you take this job, and you work there for as long as you need to be. And that's period. Okay? You know what? You're actually right. I need this job. I deserve this job. And besides, the pay is far better than my previous job. So I'm not going to quit because of some unreasonable human being. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about, girl. Look at you. Now, cheer up, Joe. Let me go and get some alcohol. Let's cheer up. Uh, uh, let's celebrate this thing. What, 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 what madness is this? Who is later? I suppose I should just... 
us. Please don't smoke up all. Please, I need to wake up early. Well, 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 I can see that you decided to stay despite my warnings. What do you want, Nathan? Unfortunately for you, you do not get to refer to me by my name here. Put a sir to it. What can I do for you, sir? Hmm. And you lower your eyes when you speak to me, I'm your boss. You can see you're enjoying your tiny little office here. I just came by to let you know that since you have refused, to stay out of my sight. I'm going to make your stay here a living hell. Yes. Starting with these, actually. So these are documents for self-trading departments, uh, lush services, and also data band team. I want them all sorted out separately and sent to my mail before the end of the day. All of these today? What? Is, is it too much? You can't handle it. It's very simple. Why don't you just quit? That's not what I mean. That's what I thought. I want them before the end of the day. Chop, chop. Oh, so why don't you want her to work in this company? Well, so I mean, she seems clumsy and incompetent. Enough. Enough with the abusive words. So why talk ill of someone in building room? Do you have anything against her? No, I don't, uh, but what I'm saying is, it's just, I, I, I'm done talking to you. You can go back to work. Oh, yes, sir. Here, do the analysis drafting of this and send it to me. Now? What do you mean now? Of course now. You can't do it. But I'm still working on the documents you brought in for me this morning. But, but why are you complaining? No, tell me exactly why you're complaining. Look, if this is too much for you, why don't you just do yourself a favor and just quit? Just, just quit. That's not what I meant. HR is waiting, so make it snappy. Here you go, babe. Thank you, so, babe, do you um do you remember my ex that I told you about? The one that I caught mm -hmm. cheating on me and then she tried to pin a baby on me. Oh yeah, the one that was supposed to marry. <laughs> Still can't believe I was going to marry that girl. Mm -hmm. Um anyway, the gist is um my company just employed her a few days ago. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no kidding. And the worst part is that she's been assigned to me. Assigned to you? How? Well, to work under me. For real? Babe, that's not good, though. Oh, come on, babe. Don't make that face. You know how much I detest her. I can't even stand her being anywhere around me. Oh, baby, she's your ex. Anything can happen. Well, that is where you've got it wrong because I have this huge plan to get her out of that office. Yes, I'm going to frustrate her to the point where she will not have a choice but to leave by her own accord. Babe, how do you intend doing that? I already started. How? <laughs> Look, I just need you to play a tiny role to perfect this plan. Me? Mm -hmm. How? Mm. Babe. Listen and I'll tell you. Yeah. 
That's why I said whenever we're having a board meeting, make sure you're taking notes of everything that has been said. I don't want to have to go through this. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, How are you? I'm oh. fine. I'm oh. waiting for you. I'm sorry. I had a board meeting around longer than I expected. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, um, this, uh, this person that I told you about. Mm. She's not pretty. It's cool. I know, right? Nothing to worry about there. By the way, you look really nice. Ah, what's yeah. going on? Wow. Is this all for me? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go inside. Yeah? Okay. Let me grab my keys real quick. Okay. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I asked you to send me the analytics reports directly and went ahead to send it to HR. May I ask why? I sent it to you last night, but then when I got to work this morning, HR asked me to send it to him immediately since you are not at work yet. I see what's happening here. Um, you're trying to do my job for me, right? Or better still, you're trying to take my position. Next time I ask you to send me a report, you send it immediately. Not in the middle of the night. I'm not a wish to be up at that time. Do you hear me? And oh, you need to go out and get coffee for everyone that's going to be at the board meeting. But that's not my job. You don't tell me what your job is. I'm your boss and you'll do as I say. Do you understand? Am I talking to someone? Yes. Good. And I don't like a lot of sugar in mine, so watch it. Yes, girl, we have a presentation tomorrow and the workload is just crazy. That's not good. What exactly is Nathan's job if you're doing all of this work? He says that he's the boss. Well, according to him. This is getting out of hand. He's bent on frustrating you out of that place. Don't give him what he wants. He'll get tired. No, it's not that simple. I might go crazier with the way things are going. What about Michael? He waited for you to come back, but obviously couldn't cheat nature. Listen, Nora, thank you so much for everything, okay? I will soon finish up from here and I'll be home soon. I'll send the cab guy to pick you up when you're done. Be careful, okay? All right, thank you. Bye. Oh my <gasps> God. Ah! Her face was so satisfying to watch. I'm sure that got to her. <laughs> Look, I enjoyed it every single moment of it hmm. look i'm sure what's happened is just a matter of time before she resigns by herself trust me babe i see hmm. it though but come to think of it how did you end up dating such a pathetic lady and she's not even that pretty <laughs> enough about her my darling this is what are we having for dinner uh, babe please let's eat out why eat out let's just make something in the house hey, please now let's just eat out <laughs> fine hey, you win I always win. Thank you. So what do you want to eat? Uh, Italian, Chinese, local. Maybe no, when, we, when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. The bridge is now. I don't want to drive around the hotel looking for me. Don't worry, we'll just step out of the house. Think about it.
Hmm. I have a question for you. I'm actually genuinely concerned. Um, what exactly do you know how to do properly without cheating? Excuse me? You do realize that you're going to be dismissed immediately if HR finds any fault in any of these reports. I asked you to do a simple report. What is this now? What? I did exactly what you asked me to do, and I don't see any faults with the report. Well, there's everything wrong with it. I need you to redo them, okay? And bring them to my office when you're done. Preferably sooner rather than later, okay? Hello? The draft you asked for, sir? This is the fifth one I'm sending today. Like, how else am I supposed to do it? But it's, it's 10.50. How am I supposed to send it in 10 minutes time? that I asked for. Right here, you just gave them to me a moment ago. So it's not ready? But I just gave them to you a moment ago. That, 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 that means it's not ready. Why? You're right to it. Just, just get to it then. What's it the whole time wasting? I don't understand. Here you are. Good day. How are you? Fine. How did you know I was here? Well, I asked John and he told me you were there. I brought you food. Oh, it's very thoughtful of you. Thank yeah, you. Was nice. Thank you. Come, let's go to my office. Okay. Oh, thank you. You said you love me. You said it's me and no one else. It's time to prove it. You left me. Uh, I'm not crying, okay? But tears is coming up from your eyes. Something in that mommy's eyes, that's why tears are coming out of my eyes. Mom, but why is something always in in your eye? You cried yesterday too. You were not sleeping yesterday. Mom, oh, don't cry. I don't think to be sad. It's okay. Uh, sir, excuse me. Um, I was on my way to your office here. Do you finish downloading the documents? Yes. And um, what about the breakdown that I asked for? I already sent it to your email. And um, the delivery that I asked you to pick up, what about that? I'm about to go do that. I'm third. You see why I said that you're not fit for this job? Of all the things I asked you to do, do you realize that that delivery is the most important one? But you asked me to send the breakdown before noon. And you couldn't finish on time? He asked me to transfer the documents immediately. There is no way I can do all of that. Would you quit complaining? If you cannot do your job properly, it's very simple. Just quit. It's not that hard. Go pick up that delivery and prepare for the board meeting. Go! I cannot stand him. 
Like I feel like just strangling him with my hands. I can imagine what you're going through in that office, Dina. Nathan is such an ass. He's a coward. The fact that I even dated someone like that is just the funniest thing here. I don't even understand how I ended up in that mess in the first place with that idiot. You need to see the way he flaunts his girlfriend around the work premises. Dina? Are you still in love with him? Do you have feelings for him? Me? Hell no! Why? I mean, there's just this... This painful look in your eyes when you talk about the girlfriend. And I know you, Dina. Looks like you're hurting. I knew it. Dina. You know, you... Kara. I see the father of my child every single day maltreating me and mistreats me every chance he gets it's too big here come here stop look at me Dina don't look at him hmm? You have Micah now, and you have me. Alright? Just go in there, do your thing, don't see him. Alright? Yeah. Don't see him. You think she's ever going to resign? <laughs> of course. Nobody's going to take all the heat I've given her for that long. Well, you're right. Because if I'm wearing her shoes, I wouldn't even stand up for a second. <laughs> so what's on your schedule for today? Mm, not too much. I just have a few classes with my team and the rest is a free day. Mm. Why don't you come by the office later? Sounds great then. Alright. Gotta run. See you. Yeah. See you soon. Love you. Love you too, buddy. Bye. Bye. Nora, I'm still at the office. By this time, and Mika? He's still in school. Like, and I cannot leave the office anytime soon because Nathan gave me a lot of work to do. Why today of all days? I just arrived at Abuja not quite long. <sighs> I would, I'll call this teacher and, and ask her to help me drop him off on her way home. You know that lady doesn't stay close to us. Yeah, she would just help me and drop him off. Oh, all right. I have to go now. I'll call you later, all okay? Right. How is he? 
He's still in shock. Luckily, no major impact on him. Thank goodness. We are still going to run some tests and keep a close watch on him. Okay. Don't worry, he will be fine. Thank you, Doctor. Why is he not awake yet? We are out of danger. He's taking his time to recover. Just give him some time, he'll wake up. Please, I, I can't afford to lose him. Just just monitor him. We will. Is he your son? Um no. Just just do everything that you can for him, please. Put your mind at rest. He will be fine. Okay, so I have other patients to look after. Yes, I called her and she said that she dropped him at his usual spot. Like, but he's not here. Like, what if something happens to him? No, 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 don't say things like that. Mika is a smart kid. Nothing has happened. He's nowhere around. He's nowhere around. Like, I don't even know what to do. I, I'm going to go to the police station. I'll go to the police station. Hold on. Let's think of places he could be. You cannot file a missing person's report until it's 24 to 48 So what hours. do I do? I can't just sit here and do nothing. Okay, just breathe dinner. Go out to the street and ask around again. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Fuck. Hey, hey, hey. Doctor! 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 He's, he's awake. Oh, look, he's awake now. How are you, boy? How is he? He's fine. We'll watch him as if he's free to go home tomorrow. Thank goodness. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you so much. You're welcome. He's such a strong boy. Give him enough food and water. Thank you. Okay. All right. Hospital. Who is my mom? Please calm down, okay? I'll answer all your questions. But first, you need to have some food and some water, okay? What do you want to hey just 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 lay down, lay down. Yeah? You still need to rest, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I won! <laughs> of course you did. Great job. You're so smart. Bye bye. Uncle, now I have eaten and played with you. Can you call my mommy now? Yes, I was going to ask. Why were you crossing the road all by yourself? My mom told my teacher she drop me out of water, beg that so I can go home by myself. Okay, but can you not cross the road all by yourself next time? I mean, without adult supervision. Okay? Okay. Do you know the way to your house? Yes. Are you sure? Nora, Nora, don't go here, okay? I have still not been able to find him. Oh, oh, God. What are the police saying? They said that they are on it. Look, I won't be able to survive if anything happens to my Nothing's boy. Nothing's going to happen to him. Nothing's going to happen. Let's just think of possible places it could be. Maybe we could start with the school and then we ask around. This whole thing has happened. Is that bastard nigga did not give me so much work to do? It's not the time for that. Come, let's go. Oh, God. We could start from the school then. I don't know. Let's just help ourselves. Why? The police are doing their thing. <laughs> there is no way you're this brilliant at this age. <laughs> so what did you tell him? Well, that's good for him. So tell me, do you like the chocolates? Thank 
glad that you do. Wow. Little man, how are you doing? I'm fine, don't worry, I'm something I need to put. Oh, sorry about that. After your medication, it will disappear like magic. Oh, are you a magician? <laughs> something like that. Do you like magic? Yeah, it just that they aren't free. <laughs> Smart kid. Yeah, I know. Take care of him. Okay. See you guys later. Uh, thank you, doctor. So tell me, what else happened? I'm actually vested in this conversation. What else did your friend say after you told him that he should stop lying? Doctor, thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I hope he finds his parents. Well, he's a smart kid. I'm sure his directions will be correct. All right. You can pick up his medication on your way out. Thank you for giving me a You're welcome. <laughs> Shall we? All right, high five. Smart boy. Thank you, doctor. All right, then. Bye. What are you doing with my child? I didn't do... I mean, I, I knocked him down by mistake. You did what? Look, it was an accident, okay? I took him to the hospital, so he's fine. But what kind of a responsible mother would let an eight-year-old cross the road by himself? Well, a mother who walks her ass off pleasing an ex of a boss who thinks the world revolves around him. He would not have been walking on the road by himself if you did not give him that ridiculous workload the other day. So don't you dare question my duties. Dina, is, is he mine? When I get the hell out of my compound before I do something you would not like. Don't you dare touch me! It's medication. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm really, really sorry for making you walk home by yourself. I'm so sorry. Where does it hurt? Like, are you feeling okay? Do you know I've searched him? He's fine. He's okay. Listen to me. Don't get close to someone like that again, okay? Don't get close to him. Do you hear me? Listen. Do not get close to him. Okay? Baby, how... How about you just go take off your shoes, okay? Mommy's just really tired right now. All right, come okay. upstairs. Be Hurry. Careful, please. Oh, God. You were really going to do that with him? Nora, he was with Nathan. What kind of coincidence was that? Can you imagine how I felt seeing them together? Do you know the most important thing is that he came back to us safe and sound? Look, you've not slept for the past two days now, so just please go inside and take some rest. And I'll fix you something to eat. Now, get up. Get up. You said you love me. You said it's me or no one else. It's time to prove it. You left me and you chose another. What about? All of the promises Can I erase these memories? No I'm broken And it hurts so deep How can I pretend we didn't exist? You should have let me explain But you walked out Oh, 
Okay, that was good. Very well then. Babe. Baby. Nathan. Oh, babe. <clears throat> Sorry, what are you saying? Babe, what's going on? What's on your mind? It's nothing. No, don't tell me that. You have changed. And you don't even pay attention to me like you used to. Or did I do something wrong? Look, look, I just said it's nothing. I'm fine. Why don't you just stop bothering me? Hey. The report will be ready very soon. No, that's fine. Just uh, take your time. Take my time? I thought you said it was urgent. Well, yes, but you seem to have a lot on your hands right now, so just do it one at a time. So, why are you here then? Oh, um, the uh, data ban report, uh, did you send it to me? I gave it to you yesterday. You did? Well, why didn't you remind me? I told you. No, well, never mind. Just, uh, just get back to work. <clears throat> Sir, the boardroom is ready and I already sensed the draft you asked for. Oh, impressive. Okay. That is good. Okay. So you need to inform Mr. Nathan about the rich news. Okay. It gets ready. You are presenting to the board. Okay. Sir? Are you not ready? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, I am. I will get on it right away. All right, okay, excuse me. What does it look like I'm doing? Obviously keeping an eye on you. What for? What for? I'm your boss. It's my job to make sure that you're doing your job as opposed to lazing around. Since when? I mean, I'm obviously working. So since when did you start keeping an eye on me and how I work? Well, I can decide on that anytime I want, right? Why don't you just get back to work and stop talking? My car is mine, right? Yours? How? Well, you said you were pregnant for me years back. It has to be my car. Am I right? <laughs> you amuse me. He is not your son. But you said he was mine then. Not anymore. He is my son alone. He is not yours. Well, since you're so sure, I want a DNA test. You are not touching my child. You have no right to ask for a DNA test. Well, that answers my question then. He is mine. He is not. You said it yourself years ago, so he is not your son.
What are you trying to do? I, uh, I got you this. What's with all the niceness? Look, I don't like this change of character. Go back to being the mean and rude you. That's who you are. I've gotten used to it. Look, you don't have to sound that way. I'm only trying to... I don't want it. Stop acting nice. This is not you. It's irritating to see you act this way. Goodness. Oh my goodness. So who is it? I don't even know who it's gonna be named. Do you know? Who are you supporting? Somebody says okay. Are you okay? Are you sure? Hmm? Hey, hey, big man. How are you? Get away from my son. Get away. Nora, take him inside. Out! Get out of my house. Out! Listen, I don't want to see you anywhere near me or my son ever again. Just out. Go out. Get out! Uncle. Micah, because he's a very bad person, okay? And I don't want you getting close to him. But then, yeah, mommy, he took good care of me at the hospital and, and bought me a chocolate as well. Micah, will you listen to your mommy? Yes. That's my boy. Now listen to me. Mommy doesn't want you to get close to him, okay? All right? Boy, my wife, mommy, is a good person. You know what? Go to bed, okay? Don't worry about that. Just go to bed because tomorrow is school. Take a look at me, cover you. Good night, okay? Nathan, I only agreed to come here because of old time's sake, so please make it snappy. Nora, I know that I'm not in any position to ask you for anything, but it's just that I'm confused. I, I don't know what else to do. I don't know how else to get through to Medina. How are you expecting that you just show up and then she'll welcome you back with open arms? After everything you did to her, the abandonment, the embarrassment, the emotional torture, do you even have an idea of how much suffering she has been through? That girl raised your child alone, without you or any man around to give her a pat on the shoulder. But I guess you wouldn't understand that. I, I may not understand that. I may not be able to understand it. And I may not be able to erase all the pain, but that's why I need a second chance. Please. I need a second chance to try and make things right and, and be a part of it. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? I thought you had a girlfriend. What are you doing? I already ended things with her. Listen, I, I need your help. Please just, just help me talk to her, please. Let me make let me make it up to her, please. It's not going to be easy. Nathan, you created a very deep hole in Medina's heart. It's so deep that it's gonna take more than just I am sorry to fix it. I'll just be on my way. No! No, Nora, for the first time in our friendship, I will say no to you. Sorry. Sorry? How does that change anything? You of all people should know what I went through in the hands of that coward. I will never let him in our lives, never! Well, Micah needs a father whether we like it or not! He doesn't! You have not given him any reason to show that he wants a father in his life. I will take care of my child all by myself. Do you hear me? I will never let him in our lives. Adina, please. 
forgive him. I'm begging you. Please. I should forgive Nathan. I can't believe that you're saying this to me. No, 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 no. It's not like that. It's not. Dina! Dina! I didn't mean it that way! I'm sorry. No, you're not. If you were sorry, you would not have been treating me the way you have for the past few months in this office. Look, I know I was mean. I was stupid. I was a coward. Name it. I'm, I really am sorry. Nathan, keep your sorry to yourself. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Go meet your girlfriend and stay a hell away from me and my son. I, I broke up with her. Good for you. That's what you're good at anyway. Dina, please just... I am sorry. I want you back. I want to be a father to my son. My son. He's not yours. So stay away from me and my son. Did you miss me? This much. This much? Ooh. So do you want to see a magic trick? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. And close your eyes. And make sure that they are closed. All right? Open it. Oh, it's my favorite chocolate. <laughs> I know. That's why I got it for you. Thank you. Uh, Uncle, can I ask you a question? Okay, go ahead. Ask. Why does mommy hate you? She say you're a bad person. <sighs> um, okay. Like, I need to tell you something. You see, mommy and I used to be close. You mean friends? Yes, friends. Um, but then I did something quite bad to mommy and she's been very upset with me. I've been apologizing to her, but she has refused to forgive me. That's sad. But why do you want to be mommy's friend? Why do I want to be mommy's friend? Um, well, that's because... <sighs> I'm your dad, all right? And yes, I want to be close to you and I want to be close to mommy. My dad? Well, my mommy said my dad is dead. Well, that is probably because mommy is still very angry with me, but I am your dad. Uh, I really like you to be my dad. You're happy about that? Yeah. Well, I need you to do something for me, all right? And this is between us. I need you to talk to mommy. I need you to beg her on my behalf to please forgive me. I want to be her friend again. I want to be in her life. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Can I call you daddy now? Of course you can. Daddy. <laughs> That's my boy. Come here. You said you love me. You said it's me or no one else. It's time to prove it. You left me and you chose And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Mommy. Yes, please. Can I ask you a question? Of course, go ahead. That uncle, is he my daddy? Where did you hear that from? I'm just asking, is he really my daddy? My God, listen to me. Your daddy is dead. I told you before. Why are you lying? You say lying is the same. It's your daddy. It's just that many years ago he did something really, really bad to mommy. Mommy, can you forgive him? You said you love me. You said it's me. Tina, I'm sorry. 
so sorry. Just give me a chance to make things right. Give me a chance to be a father and a husband. Please. Just leave, Nathan. I know I do not deserve your forgiveness. But please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I never stopped loving you. I love you still. And I always will. But Nathan, you hurt me. You caused me so much pain. I know. I know. And I am so sorry. I forgive you, but I'll have to think about the proposal later. That's good enough for me. She's <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for everything. And I'm sorry I yelled at you. It's fine. I just wanted you to let go of the pain and be happy. And I'm so proud you're doing it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nora, for being there for her. If you hurt her again, I'll kill you and go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> let me guess why this place is boring. <laughs> <laughs> 